Okay. So far, so good. All right. And these are the, this is the component. Okay. And then the, this one, this one, aqueous face model option. We can use the default, including the viscosity model type. We will follow first the, the default. Here we use Josie Steel for those correlation with all these parameters. Okay. All right. So now when prop ask the component data has been modified, do you want to apply the change? Yes. The number and or order of the components has been changed. Please verify the compositions. Okay. Let me check. Oh, I think we have a problem here. We need to insert again our library component. So yeah, I will insert this one. OK. Click OK. All right. All right. So here we have the library, the library components and also our own component, the C77 plus. Apply change. Okay, so in total we have 11 components. All right. Okay. If you want to give comments here, you can input your comment and Make sure you also input this one, default reservoir temperature in Fahrenheit. Let's say the reservoir temperature is 285 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and again in comments, I will input gas condensate. Okay, so far so good. The components and then number of components. Yeah, if you want to move the C7 plus to make it, yeah, it looks better, you can use this one. I will put C7 plus to the bottom. All right, and apply change. Okay, so in component, you can check the component property plot. Here we have critical pressure against the molecular weight. And then this is the critical temperature plotted against the molecular weight and eccentric, eccentric factor, thermodynamic properties plotted against the molecular weight. Okay. And then logically we will input the composition and that's what we will do. 